want you to realize, my friend, that as we talk about praying in the power of the Holy Spirit, we're talking about something that is beyond imagining, bigger than we can imagine. The power of God is way bigger than we can imagine ever in our lives. Once we die and get to heaven, we'll understand it. But right now, we're too limited, and the world around us is so limited. We, we have these prejudices where we limit God. But God's power created the universe. God's power is bigger than the Big Bang that began the universe that we now live in. God's power is unlimited. God's power is like, well, think of a child playing with dynamite and matches. The Holy Spirit is the fire in the match. Our prayers are holding the dynamite that is God's power. It explodes into all goodness, into all blessings, into all victories. But it's even bigger than that dynamite we can imagine. When we're in church, the Eucharist, the power of God that turns bread and wine into the actual body and blood of Jesus and the fullness of the presence of Jesus, the power that is in the word that is preached, the word that is read in scripture and preached in the homily, the word who is Jesus, the power that is in that word is bigger than our lives. It is bigger than our imagination. It is bigger than the universe. When we go to church, we are encountering to use that analogy, that very poor analogy of dynamite, we are encountering a minefield of dynamite. And what do we do? We sit there and praise you, Jesus. If the song is about praise, are we singing it with our whole heart? At daily mass, very often, the alleluia that comes right before the gospel reading goes like this. Alleluia, alleluia. And we reply, Alleluia, Alleluia. Hey, even if you're the only person at that Mass going, Alleluia, Alleluia, you're setting an example, even if they call you nuts. <laughs> and you are opening yourself up to the power of the Holy Spirit. What else is happening in Mass that is unleashing the power of God. The penitential rite in which we put aside our sins and we ask God to purify us and to make us holy. The receiving of Jesus in communion. We're receiving all the power of God in that. So why don't we leave church changed? Why don't we leave church going out and laying hands on people and praying and receiving miracles? Because we are seeing everything boxed in by our little world. And because we are not doing all we can to open ourselves up to the almighty power of God. We are playing with dynamite. But it's an unfused dynamite if we are not doing everything possible to grow in holiness, to grow in our relationship with the Holy Spirit, to grow in our connection, our connectivity with the Holy Spirit, to grow in our purification, to grow in our awareness of God's love, God's caring, God's beauty, God's awesomeness, God's word that promises the scriptures, that tell us what God's will is. The scriptures that give us an example of the miracle power that exists out there. If we choose to live mediocre spiritual lives, we choose to ignore the power of God. That's not what he wants for you, my friend. 
he has much more power available to you than you can ever realize. So figure out what is keeping you from being aware of that power and then go change that. And whatever it takes to figure that out, that's what you need to do. Listen to the videos that I have on the Holy Spirit. Listen to other speakers on the Holy Spirit. Read books about the Holy Spirit. Read the scripture about what it says about the Holy Spirit. Go to a spiritual director to help you understand what the Holy Spirit is doing in your life. Get to daily mass. Get to mass as often as possible. Go to the adoration of the Holy Eucharist where you can just sit there and concentrate on, wow, that's the power of God in that little host, in that monstrance on the altar. There is infinite power in that and spend an hour adoring that power. There's a lot that God wants to do through you and in you. So go learn how to open up to that power. God bless you.